one of the things I tried to do in this talk was to not caricature the people who I disagree with, to try to listen well enough that like if somebody from the Family Research Council were to be listening to the first half of this talk, they could say, you pretty much understand our concern. You get it. And I think we need to be able to, it's some combination of information plus empathy, you know, to be able to say, yeah, yeah, okay, I get that. Here's where I disagree with you, but I understand your narrative. You've adopted a narrative. I'm not in that narrative. I have a different narrative that I'd like to be able to tell you about, but I can listen to you with your narrative. It helps to listen to radio stations that drive you crazy, right? You know, just to hear what the kinds of arguments that are being made, the kind of narrative that is being shared. But this narrative that our godly republic has been taken away from us gradually by secular progressives and their allies in entertainment and education and business and government uh, and have left us an embattled minority. That is a broadly shared narrative. You probably know people who that's their narrative. These are my people, right? And have we described their perspective in a way that they can understand, yes, you got me. Um, that at least can be disarming. Thank you for listening. Can I now tell you my narrative and see if they can listen to